Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have a really great Silhouette Studio software tutorial. Now, of course, if you dig Silhouette Studio, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, because we have a lot of really great Silhouette Studio tutorials now and in the future. But for today, we are setting up a very custom design using fonts and elements to combine them to one really awesome finished project. Hey guys, so here we are in Silhouette Studio and today's project is simple and complex all at the same time. And I think it's a good introduction to learning to set up your own files. So I know that this is going to be like Father's Day themed, but it's actually a really good gift year round. So don't feel like you have to use it for Father's Day, but of course, you know, it's just right around the corner. So we're going to go ahead and focus on it today. So I'm going to probably say that throughout the video, <laughs> but I mean, this is great for birthdays and Christmas, um, grandparents day, because we're actually going to do this um, for a grandpa. So lots of really cool things that you can do. But let's go ahead and jump on in. Now what I'm going to do, because we're using so many different elements, which is what makes it complex in my opinion. Um, but the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open a file explorer window, because then we can just drag and drop over the elements that we're going to use. Now these are the fish hook and the fishing rod. Those are the two items that I have downloaded. So let's go ahead and start with the fishing rod and I'm going to open the PNG because then I can see a preview of what each of these looks like. All right, now of course you can select any of these that you want. I personally am going to do fishing rod number one. So I'm gonna come back over to SVG, choose fishing one and drag and drop. Okay, so that's part number one. Now, of course, I already know what this is going to look like, so it's easy for me to pick these things out. You don't have to import them all at once. Okay, but next I want to do my fish hooks. So I'm going to drag and drop because they are available to drag and drop as one. Okay, I can do them in singles or I can do them as one big file. Okay, so I'm going to minimize that. And you can see that my um, fishing lures, my my little um, hooks here are multiple pieces. So I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to go ahead and move my fishing rod out of the way. And then I'm going to select all the individual pieces and I'm going to group those together. So I'm going to speed through that part, but basically I'm going to do this with each individual one. You can also use control G on your keyboard, but I just want to make sure that these do not get separated from their individual pieces. Okay. Now I also know that I'm using four names today, so I'm going to choose the four lures that I think fit my purposes. Okay. Because I also know that some of these items won't cut really well, like these really super fine lines here. So I'm not going to use this one. And then these two actually look really similar. So I can just choose one or the other. And that leaves me with four of these um, lures slash hooks. Okay. So set those to the side. Let's come back over to our fishing pole because another thing that I want to point out is that with four names, the names are actually going to be suspended from the area here where the line comes into contact with the rod. All right. So what that means is that I only have three of those and I need another one. So let's go ahead and we're going to first and foremost cut off this part right here using our knife because I don't actually need the line coming from that fishing rod. All right. Now I'm going to rotate this just a tad and I'm going to use control C and control V to create a duplicate. I'm going to grab my knife again and I'm just going to slice off another piece of this rod rotate a little bit more and we're going to make it a little smaller because you can see that it gets smaller each time. And then of course I can just rotate and readjust because I want it to look natural. All right. So there we go. So now we're just going to weld these two together and I have my very own fishing rod. Now, of course we can come here and do a little editing and just kind of straighten this out. I also could have been more careful with my knife, but I can just go ahead and use my point editing by double clicking. There we go. Just round it out a little bit. 
All right, so now let's talk about the names, okay? Because this is the third element we're using. We brought in the rod, we bought, brought in the hooks. Now we need the names. So let's go ahead and type those out. I am using Jasmine, Hayden, Avalyn, and Brody. So I'm actually making this um, for my sister-in-law. Her father is an avid fisher and um, he actually, so Hayden is my oldest nephew and um, he goes fishing all the time with uh, her dad. Okay. And basically you can use any font that you want, but I really liked this love twist and part of the reason is because if I go to glyphs, now the glyphs feature is an upgraded feature of the designer edition. So if you don't have designer edition, you will need to use your character map. Okay. But what I can do is just add on these little pieces on the front and the back. And I'm going to do that for each name. And that's what's going to give the illusion of um, these being like a fishing line, which is the ultimate goal. So once that's done, I'm going to right click and choose weld. And then you see how my little dots on my eyes separated. So I need to group those back together, but all of these others are already grouped. Now I know that I'm speeding through a lot of portions, um, but just remember that you can pause and rewind the video at any time. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate these 90 degrees to the right. I'm going to bring my pole. Now I'm going to fill my pole with black. That'll just help it look more seamless. But as you can see, I'm going to connect at different points on, you know, horizontally. So I want to make sure that my longest is connected at my highest point and my shortest is connected at my lowest point. Okay. So I can arrange them however I want. And I just want to make sure that they're overlapping the end of that pole. All right. And basically the reason for that is so that I can weld them together. And of course I can, you know, make these bigger, smaller, uh, anytime that you're working with a delicate font, you want to consider the material that you're cutting it from. Um, I will be cutting this from heat transfer vinyl, so I can use a pretty delicate font like this, but, um, you know, obviously the, larger or the thicker the font, the easier it is to cut. Okay. So now I'm going to take these fishing hooks, fishing lures, however you want to look at it. And we're just going to arrange these. These can be in any order whatsoever. Like it doesn't matter whatever you think looks the best. I'm going to use, this will be my smallest one. So I'll use that one there and I will just line up. So this is my largest one. I'll line all these up at the bottom. Now I kept this one a little separate because I don't need that additional um, hook up there. So here we come with the knife tool again and I can just slice that off and delete it. So now group that back together and then line it up here and make it look like it's, it's looping in or being threaded with um, the name. Okay. So that's the look we're going for. And we're going to do that on all of these. This one, I can just ungroup and take, take that part off. All right. Group it back together and just have it threaded here with the name. So let's line all of these up. Don't ever be afraid to zoom in like this because really zooming in gives you, um, you know, a much better view of what you're working with. We can make this one a little smaller and we'll just have it hook here in the back. And once you're happy with the design, I mean, the designing part is done. Of course you can, you know, decide how large you want your fishing rod, how large you want the names, you know, if you want the hooks larger or smaller, but I'm really happy with that. So I can select the entire thing and just weld. And with the exception of these individual pieces, um, and of course the dots on my eye, it has welded everything together. So I can just group it and now I'm free to size this, whatever size I want it to be. So for example, if I'm going to put it on a shirt, then, um, I'm just going to make it 11 inches wide. We're going to use our sizing up here at the top and I can just center that to page. Now, when we zoom in, I have a perfectly good, um, father's day design 
Grandparents Day design. You know, we talked about a lot of other options. And then there is another thing I'm going to add. We're going to add some more text. So I'm going to go ahead and type out hooked on granddad. You can even say we're hooked on granddad. Okay. So let's go ahead and, you know, guys, I like to fill it in with black and turn my line transparent. That's just a visual thing. But let's go ahead and there we go. It's called Remington Weather. And it's just a nice like little typewriter font. And I can make this as large or as small as I want. I'm going to put it right across the top. So let's make it a little smaller so it all fits on one line. And of course you can put this anywhere you want. There we go. And then we can just convert to path. All right. So get everything center it center to page and this is our finished design now like i said this sizing would be like if i wanted to put it on a shirt um i actually may put this on a sign which would also be good because i can show you guys about applying heat transfer vinyl to wood so that's super exciting um but for now, this is the end of our tutorial. So super excited to show you guys a little bit more about designing. This is absolutely both beginner and a little bit intermediate at the same time. It's a good introduction to using elements to set up your own design. We added um, SVG, we added text, we used glyphs, we welded it together, we used the knife tool, we even did a little bit of point editing. So definitely a lot of elements to take into consideration, but it's great because Silhouette Studio has all these tools readily available for you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if it seemed like we went through it a little bit fast, definitely don't be afraid to pause, rewind, go over it again, um, because a lot of really great tools here available for you. But that's all we have for you today. So guys, how did you feel about creating our very own fishing rod, name, lore, hook, clip art, <laughs> whatever you want to call it? We made a really awesome design, which is great for Father's Day, great for birthdays, great for Grandparents Day, Christmas. I mean, there's really never a bad time to give an amazing gift like this. So even just something spontaneous, you can show off your amazing crafting skills. And if you happen to be in the market for selling, these personalized gifts are really super amazing for your business as well. Because like I said, you know, you can put it on a t-shirt, um, you can put it on a sign, you can put it on a coffee mug. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do with a simple design like that. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave those down below. You guys know I'm here for it. I'm here for you to help you however I can. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend. We love to grow the channel so that we can keep bringing you really awesome videos in the future. So I'm going to wrap it up for today, guys. But thank you so much for stopping by. It does mean a lot to me and we'll see you again next time.